I always look tired. Every day I go to bed and try to get my sleep in. But I've never actually tried any sleeping methods. So for the next 10 days, I'm gonna try 10 different sleeping experiments. And some of them are pretty extreme. The first method I'm going to try is sleep naked. Here we go. I never sleep naked. And also never really sleep alone. Do you sleep naked? No. It's not a hard sleeping method. Well, maybe it is a hard sleeping method. Okay. So far, feeling pretty free. Good night. Good night. Good night. Stay hard. Let the challenge begin. Let's hope I won't remove the blanket in my sleep. The top 10 benefits of sleeping naked include things as falling asleep faster. Well, for a few minutes, that was definitely a bit of getting used to, but then I fell asleep pretty fast. But also prevent weight gain, promote no health, and improve your relationship. I know about those, but I was definitely disagreeing with something or someone this night. But we're here for sleep. Sleeping nude can help your core temperature cool faster and lead to better sleep. There are also three other guys trying to get better sleep with me. Let's sleep naked. Like and they definitely have their own opinion. How did you sleep? Uh, terrible. Terrible? I didn't like it. At the end, we hope to have found the best sleeping method. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The results of sleeping naked. I was in bed for eight plus hours and I slept for seven hours and 23 minutes. I had a resting heart rate of 46 beats per minute, which is average for me. I was awake a lot more. At least that's what it says here. 2.1 times per hour. But my restorative sleep was higher than it has been in quite a long time. The most important measure, how do I feel when I wake up? I feel good. I feel normal. It's also about your body getting used to it because I feel like I would have woken up a lot less if I would have been used to nothing. Here. So does this method work? It definitely could, but let's see what the other guys say. I think I'm gonna do this all the time. Why? I don't know. I just slept really, really good. <laughs> I had a bit of trouble getting in sleep. I slept great. I slept normal. Yeah. <laughs> you did this every single day already, right? Yes. To be honest, why I did it is because I felt like it was a bit too tight in my sleep, so I just took it off. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? Five years or something. Five years? Wow. What? It's preference. Do you like to be Free and on the loose. <laughs> Do you like to secure the package? <laughs> and here's your equipment for the night. See you tonight. Taping your mouth. I don't think this will do an insane amount because I already sleep with my mouth closed and I just breathe through my nose, but we'll see. I don't think I can give a good night's kiss anymore. Good night. Good night. There's two actually. You want to join? No. Excitement. Oh, it is, it is see-through. Wow, that, that looks pretty crazy. All right. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Losing the tape is actually a real fear, as you will see. Mouth taping has been getting very popular because you then have to breathe through your nose, which is seen as the better way of breathing, and it could help you relax into sleep. And some people do it to stop snoring or to reduce bad breath. But benefits have not really been proven yet, and possible side effects are ironically difficulty breathing, skin irritation, and anxiety. With that information, let's see how the boys are doing. Taping my mouth? That's pretty scary. Maybe I'll die tonight. Mm. <laughs> Good morning. I've never been this thirsty when I woke up. And I slept 7 hours and 38 minutes. My resting heart rate was 44 beats per minute. So the stats look like a normal night's sleep for me. Is this a good method? For me, not really, because I would have to spend more money on each night's sleep to get these things. I sleep terrible if I can't breathe through my nose. If this was a normal night's sleep for me, I feel great. So does this method work? Yeah, it definitely could. If this builds your habit of breathing through your nose, I wonder how the other guys experienced it because for some of them, it might have been a challenge. Maybe close. There we have the first contestant. How did you sleep? Pretty all right, but I lost the tape. It was gone when I woke up. Maybe I ate it. You woke up rested. Yes. How did contestant number two sleep? Just slept fine. I had trouble getting in sleep. Ah. Sometimes I lost it just throughout the night. How did you sleep? Uh, terrible. Terrible? Yeah. Why did you sleep terrible? Uh, because I couldn't breathe. Because I have a cold. You have a cold right now. Yeah. yeah. I took it off eventually. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> Not recommended when you're sick. And again, I am naked. When I started this, I didn't really think I would be naked this much for sleep. The hardest six minute shower of my life. Here we go. Cold as it can go. This shower can go really cold. Take a cold shower for one minute. Challenging cold. I put it on the cold as it could go and it was freezing. Everything was shrinking. We're trying to put our bodies under some stress. Then take a one minute hot shower. Again, challenging. Woo! But not too hot that Woo! you're overheating your body. My body is definitely experiencing stress right now. A 
only 10 seconds left. And repeat this three times. Time for cold again. On the coldest, oh, it becomes cold very fast. So a total of six minutes. Oh, I think there's one more round. Really feels kind of exhausting, like a workout for the body, going back and forth every single minute. Pretty intense. And you do this around an hour before sleep. Okay, so I feel pretty good, pretty relaxed. Time to go to bed. First kind of normal night sleep again. Nothing on my mouth, nothing naked. <laughs> the deep relaxation following a conscious water therapy session can enhance sleep quality. So my body temperature was higher when I came out of the shower. And in the hour before going to bed, my body's temperature lower. And this drop in body temperature signals to my body that it's time to go to bed. And oh boy, for me, it was working. I know about the other guys. <laughs> It's cold. It's cold. Let's start with one minute cold. I'm really getting awake by this. Into to the hot. And then ending it with a warm shower. But I really enjoyed this. Pretty nice. Good morning. This is a great night. Let's look at what the stats say. And I slept for 7 hours and 35 minutes, resting heart rate of 43, and a higher than average restorative sleep. So I never take cold showers before bed because I thought it would really keep me awake. But I really like this method and I think it's 100% worth it to give it a try and see if it works for you. Let's see if the other guys liked it as much as I did. How did we sleep? Good, actually. Good? Yeah, yeah. Slept uh, really deep. You approve it? Yeah. How did you like it? I also liked it. A lot of restorative sleep, like five and a half hours. Five and a half hours? Yeah. I'm still asleep. <laughs> I, I love it. Did you all end with longer warm? Yeah. Well, we all like it. Yeah. Stretching before sleep. If you struggle to fall asleep, stretching may help you to do so more quickly. So I will stretch with the pliability app. You shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. Let's start the routine. The positions are also challenging and they should be. We're following the total package routine because that sounds perfect. Pliability is used by thousands to improve their mobility, performance, and recovery. This app makes stretching super simple and easy to follow. They have daily stretching routine videos for you that change on a weekly basis. Just 30 more seconds from here. 30 more seconds. This is really nice. Okay. The routines have a normal duration, but they also have faster routines for if you have less time, but they also have warrior routines. And those are not for the week. I really want to know how the other guys are doing. So I got pliability here on my tablet. I've never really stretched. I didn't know where to begin, so. I'm just gonna follow along. Oh, that's not pretty nice. Ooh. His voice is so relaxing though. I could literally fall asleep right now on this mat. Good night. So an example week of stretching could look something like this. But pliability can also help you with specific problems like knee pain and back pain. That felt good. So done with the stretch and pliability also has compatibility with the Apple Watch and the Whoop. You can also do this routine and check out pliability with the first link in the description. This link will also get you two weeks for free. That was unexpectedly more relaxing than I thought. I am ready for bed. I am I'm tired. Talk to you tomorrow. Stretching can also improve blood flow and relieve muscle tension, both of which aid in muscle recovery and sleep quality. That sounds like extra gains. Oh, and there are also no real risk, so that's a win. Oh, hello there. I slept for seven hours and 33 minutes. I had a resting heart rate of 46 and a bit above average restorative sleep. And also knowing that you just stretched, it was pretty nice going to bed. I liked it. Ooh, maybe even the most noticeable difference is I woke up excited, not tired, and just straight up ready for today. So it's hard to say no here. Also looking at all the possible benefits, it's definitely worth the try. Well, everyone wants to stretch more, especially everyone in our team. So. How did you guys sleep? Pretty well, I, I liked it a lot. And it was pretty relaxing, the sounds and the, the, the voice. Yeah, the, the voiceover of the app was very relaxing, huh? Yeah, yeah. What about you? It really made me realize I have to do this more often. <laughs> uh, I was having a hard time. <laughs> I'm, I'm not flexible at all. <laughs> yeah. Which, I was like, so shit. A nice way to wind down uh, for the day and then just brush your teeth and do all your things and then just go to bed. This is a melatonin pill and melatonin is the hormone that makes you sleepy and your body produces itself, but adding even more should make you more sleepy. I really didn't want to try this method at first because I don't really like taking pills for something that I don't really need and the side effects don't sound great. Headaches, nausea, throwing up, diet, no, no, diet. restlessness, nervousness. That doesn't sound like someone who's about to sleep. Weird dreams. Weird dreams. And confusion. Confusion. Bulbasaur used confusion and it was very effective. Here we go. Just one pill an hour to 30 minutes before sleep 
that's when it hits the hardest and I should sleep like a baby. Okay, so I think the confusion is working. I am getting more and more tired. It's been 30 minutes since I took it. Good night. Good night. I am definitely sleepy. Here we go. Uh. What I didn't know is that some people are apparently allergic to this. And we have to call 911 if we have any of these symptoms. Your lips, mouth, throat, or tongue suddenly become swollen. You suddenly become very confused, drowsy, or dizzy. Let's see how the guys are doing. This might be the most extreme method of them all. Small open. This little guy. To a good sleep. I was very hot, and not in a good way. My body was feeling warmer, and my heart rate was feeling higher than usual. But luckily, I woke up pretty sleepy. Okay, so this is pretty bad. Not that bad, but the stats are just, I was in bed for eight plus hours, but the actual sleep that I got was seven hours and 21 minutes. A resting heart rate of 50 beats per minute, which is way higher than usual. And I actually only remember waking up once and I just felt my heartbeat going a lot faster than normal, but I was still very tired. So I was like, let's just go back to sleep. And I did, and all my apps say, I'm not ready for today. And that's exactly how I feel. I'm still tired. I'm just very sleepy. I didn't want to wake up. I do not feel ready for today, but there is a big but. So how did we sleep? Way too good. <laughs> Way too good, yes. I was so sleepy when I, when I went to bed. It was insane. <laughs> After 30 minutes, I was so tired. And this morning I was so like a little bit sloppy. All my apps told me I'm not ready for today and I didn't really feel ready for today. But you did fall asleep very Fat. quickly. Yeah, I was very tired. So I, I think it's only for people who really have like problems with getting into sleep. Getting in sleep is way more important than getting good sleep. Yeah, that's the exact thing why they exist. Also for people that struggle with jet lags. So yeah. they just want to have a night's sleep so they can get back into the routine. Is this a sleeping method? No, don't use this, but there are use cases where it could be useful, but not for, for he three healthy guys and, and this guy. <laughs> the military method is developed to help soldiers fall asleep in less than two minutes and to actually be able to sleep in less than optimal sleeping conditions. Step one, get into a comfortable position. Two, relax every muscle in your body, starting from the muscles in your face to dropping your shoulders, relaxing your arms, hands, legs, all of them, all the way down to your feet. Step three, start taking deep breaths and then either visualize yourself being in a peaceful setting, a nice beach, calm lake, or scrolling on YouTube, subscribing to a channel called Brownie, or repeat the phrase, don't think, to yourself until you fall asleep. Do you think this will work? Yeah, just sounds like sort of meditation. I already have some thoughts on this method. I turned off all the lights and cameras to be ready to fall asleep. The visualization of a peaceful place didn't work at all for me. Don't think, don't think, don't think, don't think, don't think. Just thinking about those words and seeing the words very big in front of me actually really helped. And that's the last thing I can remember before waking up the next morning. But it didn't work for everyone. So the military sleeping method. Yes, sir. I think I need to basically flex everything in my body. I think on camera it looks like I'm doing a number two. This was interesting. I slept for seven hours and 45 minutes, a resting heart rate of 45 beats per minute, and my restorative sleep was decent, average. So this was obviously more of a method to fall asleep. It wasn't two minutes, but it took me less than five minutes to understand this method and fall asleep. Next time I struggle falling asleep, this is the method I will try 100% next. But let's see how the guys did. I had 98% sleep score. I can't remember falling asleep, so I think that's a good thing. If you tense your muscles and then relax, you, you really get relaxed. So how did you, oh, oh, how did you sleep? I slept pretty good, but I thought the method was bullshit, to be honest. <laughs> I, I thought he was gonna say that. I thought yeah. he was gonna say this. So, how did you sleep? Pretty well, uh, but I think it helped with relaxation, not really falling asleep, because I still had to lay still to fall asleep. Do you struggle with falling asleep? No. No, that's the thing, yeah. yeah. If there's people that struggle falling asleep, this could be a method to try out and see what happens. Maybe one of the most used methods in the world, reading before bed. We've got fiction books and non-fiction books, and online they seem to prefer fiction books because non-fiction books might make you think a little bit too much right before bed and they actually activate the brain rather than calm the mind with Harry Potter. Scary, frightening stories were also not recommended because of dreams. I'm gonna read the first book of Harry Potter. Let's hope it's safe. The goal is to read for around 20 minutes before going to bed but the lights shouldn't be too bright and i should be kind of ready to go to bed so i turned up the lights and gave it a proper try 20 minutes of reading done it's a friday night i'm exhausted i'm tired my eyes i don't think i really read the last page i was just 
asleep already. Reading at bedtime may calm the mind and keep it from dwelling on stressful circumstances, but also physical benefits. When a person reads in bed, their heart slows down and their muscles release tension, allowing the body to relax. Reading before sleep. All right, so tonight, reading for 20 minutes. All right, let's read this for 20 minutes. My night was a busy one, not just physically moving around as you can see here, but also my dreams. Okay, so that was pretty interesting. I slept for 7 hours and 57 minutes, a resting heart rate of 43 beats per minute. I personally felt like I slept very deep at some points, but for the majority of the night, pretty light. Maybe because of the dreams, because I don't know. It, it wasn't really related to Harry Potter, but I was just running away from bad guys. But you saved my life. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Reading before bed did make me very tired, so that's a great way to get sleepy. But did it really improve my sleep? Might have even made it a lot lighter because of the heavy dreaming. But how about the other guys? So how did you sleep? Pretty well. Uh, I liked it. I fell asleep faster, I think. I was just reading fairy tales and they lived happily ever after. And then I closed the book and I just was well gone. <laughs> well gone. gone. We were really well. After like 15 minutes, I was already like, yeah, I want to I wanna sleep. I do have to say 20 minutes is pretty long. Yeah, Same. I, pretty I was, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But I think this method works really well. Approved. 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 Sleep with sound. No, not that type of sound. White noise, specifically. There's actually a lot of sounds you can listen to. I know a lot of people that listen to music or they listen to nature. I believe the research now says that white noise can definitely help you fall asleep and improve your sleep, but that for some people it actually is noise and that it keeps you awake rather than helps you, so it's bad for your sleep. Let's hope that's not me. So there are many ways to play sounds, obviously on your phone or through AirPods, or you can put them on speaker. But I'm actually going for this thing right here, which I believe is called a diffuser, right? Yeah. And this is the sound that it makes. Can you hear the white noise? Yeah. It's kind of loud. I don't want it to be too loud. So the white noise is coming all the way from there. I don't want to have it too close to me. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> Researchers do not yet know how white noise improves sleep for some people, but one theory is that it masks background noises that can disrupt sleep. There are also other types of colored noises, which I didn't know. They sound like this. Let's see what the guys are listening to. I've never tried this. White noise, black screen, 10 hours. I already do this every single day. I actually checked it and I sleep better with it. Which I'm gonna use this for. Good night. It's morning and it's still going. I slept for seven hours and 37 minutes, a resting heart rate of 45 beats per minute, but my restorative sleep was higher than usual. So was the noise annoying? I do really think that the noise draws out a lot of the other noises. I mean, it was a really good night's sleep. Actually, wait, so how did you sleep? was all right do you think people should try this sleeping method i mean you could always give it a try if it's not for you then it's not for you but i think this is 100 percent worth the try so ba -ba -boy. how did you guys sleep the most normal the most normal i do it almost every day so what type of sounds just huge videos podcasts first time doing it and i really enjoyed it and i just got a video that had 200 million views 200 million views yes i thought a lot of people like it so i slept pretty good you slept good yeah yeah i gotta say this is mr skeptical so if he likes it <laughs> <laughs> if you like it i think people should definitely give it a try yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. The 478 method. A breathing method that makes you very relaxed and should help with sleep. Completely exhale through your mouth, getting rid of all your air. Close your mouth and inhale through your nose for four seconds. Hold your breath for seven seconds and then exhale through your mouth for eight seconds. And I have to do this four times. Looks like you're already tired. Yeah. So how are you feeling? Same. So I turned off the lights and gave it a real try. Okay, so I noticed something about this method, and that is that you can't really fall asleep while doing the method, which I really like about other methods. Definitely making me relax. Smash your leg. Smash your leg. Subscribe and hit that bell. Make sure to do it right now. What a moment for that subscribe call to action, epic. Again, this is focused on relaxing the body, but this one was hard for me and it kind of felt like an exercise. Not sure about the other guys. 
I slept for 8 hours and 8 minutes, had a resting heart rate of 44 beats per minute, and my restorative sleep was lower than usual. So eventually, the breathing method started to work when I was sitting up a little bit more straight. It then only took a few minutes to fall asleep. So yeah, this method can definitely help you achieve that. At first, it might feel a little bit like an exercise or a challenge even, but once you've got that down, you'll be very relaxed. At least I felt my heart rate going down. I was getting more relaxed, but I know what the guys think. So how did you sleep? Pretty good. I feel like it was kind of the same as the military method. I did like it. You didn't like it. I didn't like, no. I liked it better than the military one. Better? Yeah. <laughs> me too, me too. I like the military one better. Yeah, me too. I slept pretty good, honestly. I felt like the breathing kind of worked, tired faster, so. I was like, when I focus too much on my breathing, then if I want to breathe normally afterwards, I'm like, how do I breathe? I need to remember how to breathe. I'm so focused on my breathing, then it just doesn't work. How did you sleep? Good. I, I slept pretty good. Yeah, me as well. The milk and cookie routine. That starts in the shower. A hot shower one hour before bed to up your body temperature. Not boiling hot, but kind of challenging hot. Milk. I need to drink warm milk. I don't like milk. <laughs> warm milk and a cookie. I'm definitely going for a high protein cookie, not a high sugary cookie right before bed. I really don't like milk. I know I'm the weird one. There's a lot of people that love milk. By the way, you can get this cookie and a lot more high protein stuff at myprotein.com. Make sure you check it out and use code STEN or code BROWNIE. Both codes now work. Here we go. We're turning the milk into protein chocolate milk. Now I'm definitely gonna enjoy this night a lot more. Do you like Rachel? Yes. This is a very well-known routine and almost a tradition for some families. But there isn't really any evidence, except that a lot of people do this as a routine. And we'll get back to that. I think the guys are liking this one. So I got a small little snack and some hot protein chocolate milk. Flats. That's not good. All right, time to wind down. Got a cookie and some tea with a little bit of honey. Now, just watch the show. So I slept for 7 hours and 12 minutes only. I was in bed for 8 hours, a resting heart rate of 48, and my restorative sleep is really high. One of the best nights for deep sleep. These stats are all over the place and make no sense, except that they will make sense. How did you sleep? I slept really good. One of my best sleeps, it's just a simple routine, so... Not too long, but pretty good. Not too long, pretty good? Yeah. Why not too long? Uh, yeah, because... Uh... Valentine's Day. <laughs> because Valentine's Day. <laughs> How did you sleep? Pretty good. I was way more tired, way faster than normal. So normally you don't have something warm to drink in the evening? Not really. How about you? No. I think so that might have helped. Yeah, I think so. I think I've just had too many different routines in the past 10 days. What if we do all 10 just at once? Just try it out. <laughs> Every routine, yeah. the same day. The most important method is having a routine. And your routine could be made out of sleeping methods in this video. My routine is taking a shower, a light snack, and white noise. But after this video, I'm trying to switch the shower for a hot cold shower and adding stretching a few times a week. So try to build a routine that you're comfortable with and stick to it. So, yes, you should try this. And this is the most important method. Have a proper sleep routine and stick to it.